In this video, we're going to explore counting again, and we're really going to think about how we can use those counting games in a fun way. So we're going to use some objects that we like to play with at home. So we have got some Moshi Monsters, which James loves, don't you James? And I'm going to have some cubes because I like building cubes. And the, this little game is going to be called Fill the Cup. It's a lovely game to help with number recognition and also those counting skills. And what we're going to really look at is using the idea of a dice with numbers on it. I know that James is quite good at counting at this point, up to 10. His counting past 10 needs a little bit of work, hence why we're going to push these numbers a little bit higher than 10. We're going to use a number dice with numbers on it to really get the idea of number recognition, because again, that's something that James needs to work on. So the aim of the game is we both have a cup. Yep and we've both got our objects and we're going to throw our dice and every time whatever number we get on our dice we're going to put those into our cup and the person who fills their cup up first gets to be the winner okay so would you like to go first James? Mm -hmm. okay oh how many moshy monsters can you put in one one okay mommy's turn oh how many can mommy put in four oh no one two three, four. Right, your turn. <laughs> One again. How many have you got now? Look in your cup. Two. Two, okay, let's see. How many can mum put in? Three. Okay. One, two, three. Your turn. Ooh. Three. three. One, two, three. Okay. I this next time I'm actually going to put in more just to see if he recognises and to make sure that he's actually counting with me. Okay, James. Oh, five. Ready, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey! What's wrong? You got five and you Ooh, Oh, sorry. What does that mean? Can I just keep six in there? No! What do I have to do? Put them back! All of them? Yep. Then what will I do? Could I just take one out and then I would have five? No, take right. all of them out! Okay, take six out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, now what am I going to do? Put five in? No, I have to. It's my turn. Am I missing a go? Yep. Oh no. As you can see, the rules will be made up as you go along and you might have a very hard taskmaster like James, who will not... Five! <laughs> Mommy, I got five! Okay, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, See, you didn't put enough in. Oh no. Right, mommy's turn. Oh, how many can I put in? One. Oh no. Okay, your turn. Two. Okay. One, two. Okay, look into the cup. So he has more. Have you got more or have I got more? I got more. Okay, right, let's see. This is the end of the game, right? You count yours and I'll count mine, okay? You count yours first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, are you going to help mommy count hers? Yep. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Who has more? Me! So James is the winner. So as you can see, again, a really fun little interactive game that really fosters those I those counting skills and just uses objects that from around the house and just using a simple dice and you're getting those counting skills, those number recognition skills and the idea of adding as well.